Now, this is going to be a very bitter pill for a lot of men to swallow, but women oftentimes only crave emotional toxicity. Women oftentimes only crave emotional instability and women only crave alpha indifference, which means the deeper that you invest into a woman, the more you decide to care about a woman, the more you have decided to go out on a limb and tell yourself she's different. I'm going to allow myself to build an attachment with a woman. What you're going to notice is not only will that woman lose desire for you, but she will actually start to despise you as a man. And what will happen is she will pull away and exit every single time. And this is true no matter who you are. And this is true no matter how different you think she is. Stick with me end to end on this video presentation today because what I'm going to be showing you is specific ways that you can use alpha indifference to your advantage to start to have the upper hand every single time. All right, now in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you exactly why women crave alpha indifference and women will oftentimes crave emotional toxicity. Okay, say this with me. If you do not have indifference in the interactions and in the relationships you have with women, if you do not bring some level of tension, chaos, or potential toxicity when it comes to being at the impact of the emotions, you are going to be left for a different guy who does. And the reason being is because you will start to become boring. Most women are extremely bored. The only way that you can comprehend this is if you take a good hard look in the mirror and you start to realize and accept the fact women don't give a about your self improvement journey. Women don't give a rat's ass if you're on self improvement. You got a whole generation of guys right now thinking they should be rewarded for the effort that they put in. Do you understand that the more effort you put in to any of those aspects or any of those elements, not only is going to be extremely anti seductive and try hard, but women will oftentimes exit for a different guy who stimulates her emotions better. This is so important. 100% of men right now who follow success gurus must start to redefine what alpha is and what alpha actually means. That means, okay, women will exit your life or never desire you if you don't understand how they actually perceive love, which means that any hustle guru who's part of corporate America, who's telling you that alpha is being six foot five weighing 240 pounds with shredded six pack abs and driving a Lamborghini. Okay, this is what's holding you back. Alpha is not being six foot five. Alpha is not weighing 240 pounds. Alpha is not having a McLaren or a Lamborghini or a Bugatti. Okay, do you understand this? These are the things that holds guys back. And the reason being is because you can have all these traits. Yes, women may even find them attractive. She maybe will be walking down the street and look at you and she thinks, wow, that's a very attractive man. I want to get to know him. But you have to understand this. Women are guided by their emotions, which means if that man isn't able to tap into that woman's emotions properly, she will exit. This is what you're going to see. So, this does not signal true alpha strength. These are materialistic status driven metrics that all guys are focused on and they shouldn't be, especially if you're pertaining them to your dating life. If you want all of these things, there's nothing wrong with having a good body. If you want to go in the gym and put on muscle, good. You want to make more money and do good for yourself, good. But that needs to be for you, okay? You got to understand there's a, some of these guys out there who have fast cars and they have big houses and they have a lot of money. Some of these guys get no women too. And the reason being is because this is why you will see women who will chase broke dudes or dudes who don't have anything going for themselves. Okay. Or like dudes who don't necessarily like even really care where their future is projected at all. Okay. But these men will be able to get attractive women or even women that you would look at and you go, damn, she's out of his league. Okay. Women fall in love through the internal, which means if you're five foot seven, okay, you only make 50 grand a year. Okay, and you have an average build, but you stimulate the hell out of that woman's emotions and you make her fell head over heels in love through your charisma, through your personality, through the internal traits about you as a person. This is what she's going to start to fall in love with. So what alpha actually is to a woman, like I know there's a bitter pill for you to swallow who are keep telling yourself that if you get that extra two pack of abs and you make that extra hundred grand that year, you're going to be this top dog, but women don't give a fuck. Like women don't care. This doesn't make them feel anything. So. What alpha is to a woman, first off, is internal confidence. The guy who can walk down the street and tell himself, nobody's out of my league. I don't care if she's a 10 out of 10. I don't care like what I don't care if she's a drop dead dime. I'm going to talk to her because I want to. I, that girl has no more value in life than I do. I have just as much of value to show that she has 
like and vice versa. That sort of guy who carries himself and tells himself there is no leagues. I'm my own league. I can say whatever the fuck I want. This is what's what draws women to that man. She's gonna look at him and go, wow, there's something different about him. There's something different I like about him. Now, not only that, what women are also going to look for is if you get attached or not, which means this type of man post sex is not going to get attached, which means two weeks can go by, three weeks can go by, and he doesn't feel like he needs to set another date. He, he tells himself, I'll see her when I see her. I'll reach out when I reach out. She'll reach out if she wants to see me, vice versa. He doesn't care if she's coming or going. You have to understand this indifference causes her to engage in her emotions. This causes her to engage deeply into her emotions due to the fact that he's showing no emotion as far as attachment goes and care investment into seeing this going somewhere. This causes her to love him, okay? They crave what most would call toxicity. Now, these are the types of things that women crave. So what you have to understand is alpha indifference is extremely seductive to women because these are the elements that cause women to chase or to pursue you. Most men, you gotta understand this, are completely in the role of chasing. Most men are completely in the role of pursuing, always trying to see her, always trying to set up that next date and always trying to make sure that this goes somewhere. This is exactly why for 99% of men, it goes nowhere. So. You are at the cause of her emotions. You being at the cause of her emotions while staying emotionally detached is what causes her to invest in you. Now, most men, it's reversed. For most men, it's completely reversed because the fact is she becomes at the cause of his emotions. You gotta understand this. The only way a woman can fall in love is if you have the, like if you have emotional impact and you're at the cause of her emotions, she will look at you as a leader. She will look at you as the type of man who's leading her. She will look at you as the type of man she wants to be led by. You might look at that and say, well, that's not masculine at all. That has nothing to do with masculine leadership. To her, this is everything. You're the guy who's literally guiding like her emotions through the world when she wakes up each day. This is very important. Now, most men have this reverse. She becomes at the cause of his. He's checking his phone 24 seven. He's wondering when he's gonna get to see her. He doesn't have his own life set up so that way he's occupied and he has shit going on. This is why most men don't have very much success with women regardless of age, regardless of how much money they make, regardless of how big their bank balance is or how big their biceps are. Women don't care. Women don't give a fuck if you're self-improving, specifically thinking this is gonna have a direct ROI where she's gonna look at you and go, you're mine now, baby. They don't care. So. When you see this for what it is, it's extremely important to spot these differences and notice, notice the differences between how a guy would fall in love versus what a girl, what her lens of love would look like. It's important to spot these differences. What I mean by that is women will leave men for this. Women will leave a man, okay, if she is at the cause of his emotions. If she sees that she Okay, her existence has emotional impact on you where you're changing your behavior, okay? You're making certain concessions that you wouldn't necessarily make. Day to day, you're operating differently. Women leave men for this. Reason being is because women will punish men for psychological weakness, okay? Now, if you look at the differences, okay? Men don't leave women for this ever. So, well, a woman is going to punish you for psychological weakness, okay, this does not lower the attraction that a man has towards a woman. Men don't leave women when they get attached. Now, a woman under no circumstances, she will never view you as a source of pleasure that she wants to be around, as a man, like, as a man that she would like to spend time with. She will never view you as a source of pleasure or become attached if you do not do these things. The first thing is obviously staying patient, okay? By you extending her desire and her attraction over the course of months, meaning you see her when you see her, sometimes you guys take one, two weeks off of seeing each other, you guys don't out, you're not always pressing to set up dates. When you're able to extend this time frame and you're able to extend this time horizon, this causes her to view you as a type of guy that is emotionally detached. This is going to signal abundance. This is going to signal strength. This is going to signal non-neediness. The next is create anxiety, wondering what you're doing or if you even like her. The more certainty you start to give a woman, the more she pulls back from you. Not only that, oftentimes men become too obvious with their interest level. The more obvious you are, meaning, hey baby, I like you, let's go on a date and go get margaritas Tuesday. <laughs> the more direct you are with your communication, the more masculine you are in that communication. This certainty causes her to lower desire and causes her to lower interest. 
I didn't make them like this. This is how women behave and this is how women operate. So women don't appreciate sunshine if they don't know what rain and clouds feels like. Say that with me one more time. Women cannot appreciate sunshine, meaning if you are a guy who's fun to be around, if you're a guy who has a lot going for himself, if you're a guy who's charismatic, if you're a guy who has all of these good traits because you did self-improve or you did build yourself, blah, 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 women don't appreciate sunshine if they don't know what rain and clouds feels like. This is why they crave this indifference and emotional toxicity. She needs to feel what it's like when you're not there. She needs to know what it's like when you're not sold on her. She needs to know what it's like when you're not certain about her. These are the things that causes her to fall in love. These are the things that causes her to build sexual tension and chemistry towards you. If she can't feel negative energy from time to time from you, there's no way she will appreciate the positive energy when you're around. There's an inverse relationship. So this is the ways to demonstrate pure indifference. Okay. You might be wondering, Casey, this sounds really good on paper, but these are like concepts that it's hard for me to actually identify how I would actually do this. Have no fear, Casey's here. What that means is these are internal alpha qualities women actually give a fuck about. I'm gonna list the main ones. These are the five main alpha qualities that women actually care about, that actually causes her to engage in her emotions. These are your rules, or these are the rules that I'm giving you for your whole life. If you follow these, and you try your absolute best to make sure that you're always looking at the world through this lens, you're gonna have success. So first and foremost, is you never get attached to anyone. I'm saying anyone. You do not get attached to people. When you don't get attached to people, they naturally become attached to you. That means you are not attached to her, you are never attached to her sex, you genuinely don't give a fuck. This is first, a man who never gets attached, a man who's able to walk away, a man who's able to stand up for himself, this turns a woman on. You never get attached under any circumstances. One of the fastest ways to get attached is to commit. And oftentimes when you commit to a specific woman, you're going to notice that her behavior starts to become one of disinterest. She doesn't like you as much anymore. Accept that for what it is. The second, women are never your main source of pleasure, okay? When a woman can see that she is not your main source of pleasure, say this out loud with me, this causes her to make you become her entire world and only source of pleasure. Once again, look at the inverse relationship. Look at the differences between how that man operates versus how that woman engages in her emotions. Women are never your main source of pleasure. This causes her to make you become her entire world and pleasure, a source of where she wants to keep coming back to. This is important. The third, you are only fully present, okay? You are never future pacing a relationship. When you're fully present with a woman, that means that date that you're on, that interaction you're on, when that woman's at your house, even if you guys sleeping together, that might be the last time that you ever see her. Look at it, look at it for what it is. All you have is this day right in front of you on planet Earth. It is not normal male behavior, it is not natural for a guy to pursue futures with women and here's why I can tell you this. When you think about this at a deep level, women seek masculine security. Say that with me, women seek masculine security, which means it is their job to look into the future. If a man is future pacing relationships, if a man is future pacing marriage, if a man is future pacing all of these things, what is going to happen is that the roles, what's going to happen is that she will naturally not look at him as the type of guy that she wants to be led by, okay? The fourth, you curate a level of unpredictability because patterns get old. Okay, your text messages and when she gets them is unpredictable. Your call patterns are unpredictable. Sometimes you don't answer the phone if she calls you, it's unpredictable. When she gets to see you, it's unpredictable. Sometimes there, there might be a span of time where you guys saw each other twice in a week, other times she might go three weeks without seeing you or hearing from you much. The funniest thing about this too is this level of unpredictability actually will cause sexual loyalty. That's the funniest thing. Oftentimes guys believe that if they're monogamously committed to a woman, they come home to her every single night, that's going to have the best chances of her being committed to him sexually because he's right there. This is the fastest way to crush desire. Women are more likely to be sexually loyal to a man who's unpredictable, who isn't even committed to them. Say that with me one more time. Women are more, women more often will be sexually loyal, okay, committed to a man who isn't even committed to them. Which means what you're going to see is that if three weeks went by, there's a high chance if she's very attached to you, she won't even sleep with anybody else or entertain any other options because she's in love. Women don't naturally seek out when they have that attachment built. They're trying to get that sex or get that experience from you. This is important. Next, you fully are self-sufficient. You're fully self-sufficient and you need nobody. 
You need nobody for anything. You need nobody. You need nobody for your happiness. You need nobody for your pleasure. You need nobody for anything. This level of self sufficiency causes her to look at you as a strong man. That masculine strength, she sees you don't need her, you don't need anybody. She views you as a stoic individual that she wants to be by. So 99% of women are bored with men. And guess what? You can bore a woman sitting in a Lamborghini and you have a crazy, amazing experience with a woman in a Honda Civic. They don't give a fuck. So the more you keep telling yourself more money, more muscles, and then I'm going to have it set. You got to understand there's dudes who are 250 pounds who've been pumping iron in the gym for 20 years and they don't have a lot of women or there's guys who make tons of money and they don't have good success with women. That is not the end all be all. So all women read this with me. All women choose the man who leads their emotions over the man who's a textbook better fit on paper. I know that that's a bitter pill for you to swallow. I know that you've been told your whole life by your mom or your dad or by television that if you be a good leader, you're strong and you stand up for yourself and you blah, blah, she's going to respect you. They don't. They don't care. And it's because you're boring. You don't have any sexual tension that you've built. She knows where you stand and then she'll look for a different guy who causes those other emotions to fester in her brain. That's just how they work. So the sooner you accept that, the better. Everything that makes you successful as a man makes you boring to women. So things like diligence. I'm a diligent man. I work hard. Okay. Diligence, dedication, routine. Okay. Progression or effort. These things can build six pack abs. These things can make you a multimillionaire with a private jet. These things can help you get very ahead in life. These things are completely fucking boring to women. Okay. These are anti seductive traits that cause emotional stability. Okay. Read that with me. There are anti seductive traits that cause emotional stability. Okay. Women only fall in love via emotional toxicity. Once again, an inverse relationship. This is why I named this. Women only crave alpha indifference and emotional toxicity. You see how this comes full circle. Once again, every presentation that I make, women only fall in love when their emotions are engaged. Things like temporary pleasure, not knowing where he stands with her, not seeing that seeing that he's non needy and doesn't necessarily care if this turns into anything. Okay. Being able to be present in the moment. And once she says goodbye and walks out the door, he doesn't feel the need to consistently call and pursue. These are the things that get a woman to engage in a man. Things like temporary pleasure, feelings of inadequacy. Am I good enough for him? Am I pretty enough for him? Am I nice enough for him? Do I cook enough for him? Do I give good enough back massages for him? Why doesn't he want to date me? Those are the questions a woman needs to ask herself. She don't fucking ask herself that she ain't going to want you just so you know. Next tension, tension builds sexual chemistry. So this is why, okay. This is why women crave alpha indifference. This is the tension that a woman needs to engage in her emotions. And this is how you get women to like you. And the reason why I make this is because every single guy right now, I believe is really being led astray when they tell themselves that the corporate hustle version of make more money and build more muscle. And I'm going to have this amazing hot girl is just not the case. And it's not true. And women oftentimes don't care. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.